Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Radical Connections TV. Jesse and Irina Kaufman here. And today we're covering a very important topic. What is it? The hermit crab mindset. Huh. So that's very interesting. If you, if you, for those of you who might not be familiar with the hermit crab, it's a crab that looks for an empty shell that is uh, dead and unused and crawls mm -hmm. in there and makes it its home. Mm -hmm. And they are down here in Florida and I've seen them. They're kind of cute. And uh, I studied the word hermit and it has somebody that has to do with somebody that isolates themselves mm -hmm. and they recluse. And this is very common for people who have experienced trauma and wounds and pain and broken trust. Mm -hmm. And the reason that some people do this is because they see people as their source of pain and everybody in their life is just, um, just pain waiting to happen. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and basically what it has to do with your trauma and your wounds is attracting that, that level of people into your life that confirm what you have chosen to believe mm -hmm. and keep more pain on that level, that frequency. And until you heal that trauma and that inner wound, mm -hmm. you're going to continue to attract people that are on that level. Yeah. And so when you do get healed and you do, uh, do embrace a new, a, a higher a revelation or understanding of the truth that you uh, choose to hold. Mm -hmm. uh, when I say your truth, it's your perspective is what I'm talking about. I'm not Things talking. You see through. Yeah, I'm not talking it. about the absolute truth of God's word. Mm -hmm. uh, it's your reality, what you have chosen to believe yes. as to yeah. as being true for you, mm -hmm. whether it is or not doesn't matter. Our ignorance is not bliss in this case. Yeah, ignorance is very painful, and uh, the one plus one still equals two. In the world of realm of influence uh, of uh, <laughs> ignorance, I should say. So, if you don't realize that one plus one equals two, let's say uh, a child has no idea that one plus one equals two, and the two could be a hot, hot stove. Well, that doesn't matter. Child that touches that stove, it's going to get burnt, even in its ignorance. And so it is with all of life. Mm -hmm. Your trauma and your mm -hmm. wounds, what you don't know that you don't know, can and will absolutely cause chaos and destruction and lots of pain. And so the answer is to receive healing for those emotional wounds mm -hmm. in your soul. The part yes. of you that needs to be ongoing in its transformation and renewing of the mind. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about your spirit man, which if you're a believer uh, or, uh, you know, in, in Yeshua, Jesus, then this, your spirit man is already where it needs to be. It's mm -hmm. already everything's finished and done in a good way there. But the mm -hmm. soul realm, there's the battlefield where it's ongoing and the development doesn't stop till the day we die. Uh, so once you, re the higher level of healing that you receive, the higher quality people you're going to be attracted to and attract to you. And what we've found also is people tend to, if they have a lot of trauma and wounds, they're very protective. They don't want that to be poked. However, you have to open yourself up and become yeah. vulnerable in order to even receive healing. Mm -hmm. So the same walls that keep in, keep you, that protect you from people that are going to heap more pain on you are also going to protect you from the people that could actually help you and from the healing that you could receive from, yeah. from Jesus and his word. So we have a simple prayer that we pray that I encourage all people to address this. And it has to do with simply identifying what are you feeling? Well, if you don't know, that doesn't matter. God knows what you're feeling. And just say, mm -hmm. I feel awe, you know, whatever that is to you. And say, Father, I feel, fill in blank. T uh, take away this feeling of whatever it is. Heal this area of my soul. Mm -hmm. I receive your healing. If you say, if you pray that with all sincerity mm -hmm. and from your heart, that he will heal that soul wound. Mm -hmm. And guess what? It, once it doesn't hurt anymore, it's not as difficult to forgive because the pain is gone. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't bother you anymore. All of yeah. a sudden, it's kind of like turning on a light switch. You don't have to uh, try to get rid of the darkness. You just turn on the light. Yeah. And poof, the darkness has no say-so. It has no no grid for even hanging on. There's no competition. So Yeah. So, you know, it's really important for us to go through that process of healing 
because connection is the ultimate goal. And we're here for a reason, right? You have something in you that other people need and other people have in them what you need. And together, united, connected, we can fulfill more things that we were sent to do really, right? That's what we're here to do. So isolating is not an answer. And we understand that it's painful. We've been there too. And we're still overcoming some things that pop up here and there, which is totally fine. You know, it's layers. Just know that some things might need to be healed in layers and in time. But if you are open and you want to create the new story, the new truth for yourself, there is freedom in that. Sometimes taking that little bit of a painful, maybe a way of healing is going to get you to where you need to be. The healing is not always, you know, like um, easy, right? Because for instance, if you broke your leg, you're not just going to isolate yourself and not do anything. No, you probably wanted to go into a doctor's office and say, hey, how can you fix this for me? The surgery and the, the putting it back in place is painful, right? But when you're healed, and the healing might be painful, right? You experience that. Yeah, yeah, it okay. takes a while and then get you back on your feet, getting there. Yeah, I'd say that the emotional healing, the, the one nice thing about emotional healing is it can be as fast as you want it to be. It can be as fast as you're willing to release and let go of stuff. Yeah. It's only painful to the degree to which you have layers mm -hmm. and where you have renewing of the mind to embrace a better uh, reality mm -hmm. and truth. Mm -hmm. And so retraining your brain, I think is, I believe is the painful part. Yes. How, because if mm -hmm. it's so deeply ingrained in you to where this is your old pattern of thinking, your old way of doing things, mm -hmm. you have to retrain yourself. That process yeah. can be painful because you're probably going to mess up sometimes. Oh, there I, I did it again. Well, it doesn't mean it. you didn't receive healing. It's just mm -hmm. you're retraining and reprogramming your mind to operate on a new hardware. So Yeah, so that's a good news, right? That's a good news that we it's in our it's it's in our hands. Mm -hmm. It's in our power to break the old habit of isolation and hurt and enter into a new habit of reprogramming your mind and walking towards freedom. And that's where connection is going to happen. And on that note, what she's just said, what boy, you just said about connection mm -hmm. is that the best way to accelerate your journey towards healing and emotional maturity Mm. is to dive into relationship building and into relationship people, uh, relationship building in general. Mm -hmm. And the more people you hang out with, the more you hang out with people, guess what? You have opportunity to get triggered, right? Mm -hmm. Triggers are your friend mm -hmm. if you are pursuing healing because it, re it, it requires other people in your life to reveal the things in your heart mm -hmm. that need to be dealt with. Well, mm -hmm. if you recluse and avoid people those areas are just going to stay just, they're just going to lay dormant they're waiting to erupt yeah. and create mm -hmm. more pain and chaos in your life in the form of addictions and all yeah. sorts of self-medicating that that is destructive to the and harmful to the body and and your spiritual walk yeah. so get out there and build friendships and connect with people get to know people spend time with people I, i'm not saying that you can't take a rest and take a break you go through cycles of you know take mm -hmm. you know I, i'm peopled out I, I need to go take a nap but, yeah. but i'm not talking about right i'm not yeah. knocking that i'm just yeah. saying there's balance yeah there's balance and everything just go out there make friends build friendships mm -hmm. and connect with people mm -hmm. and embrace the possibility that uh, people are going to break your trust okay so what have you broken anyone's trust before? If, <laughs> I mean, again, how you deal with how people treat you has a lot, it says a lot on where you are with your character and your, mm. your emotional maturity on how to respond to that. Yeah. And so even that can be in, uh, counted as a blessing that you can be grateful for that. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So the, how that person treated me, uh, that hurt. And uh, 
but that didn't feel good and I didn't respond so well. So that's an area I can level up and grow. Yeah. That doesn't mean you want to, uh, you allow people to intentionally take advantage of you. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm not saying yeah. that. There is such a thing as making a decision. Okay. This person has displayed a pattern of, of doing this and, mm -hmm. uh, we don't go with the term boundaries. We just use make a decision mm -hmm. that, okay, so this person has displayed a, a pattern of behavior that is not beneficial. And so I'm going to limit my time with them. They don't have full access to my life. I love them. I bless them. I release them. They are, I forgive them, but they're not going to come and step on my toes again. Yeah. You still honor and bless and release and forgive, but that doesn't mean they have to have access to your life if they've displayed a, a habitual tendency. However, your response towards them is where the, you can take responsibility and mm -hmm. level up and grow mm -hmm. and put yourself out there and not take it personally and take offense. Mm -hmm. That's a really full message, you guys, right? A lot of great things there. So take it if you need to watch it again and take notes, but don't isolate yourself because it's painful for your soul. It's painful for your emotional and mental health, it is so much better to connect with others. Protecting your pain is painful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's Closing interesting. Nugget. Yeah. So anyways, be blessed and we'll see you next time to your connections.